category. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what you see on the screen is basically an action plan. Um, oftentimes, action plans um, align with like the different indicators related to teapot. Um, this was an action plan that I actually did with a teacher that was focused on self care. This teacher had she had trouble saying no. So like once a week, she was just piling extra things on her plate. So we took the action plan that we use for our focus observations and we turned it into a self-care action plan for her. And so we basically wrote the goal was, which was her caring for herself and the expected outcome. We wanted her to take a break, ask for help when she needed it and say no when she knew she truly couldn't accomplish what was being asked of her. And as every as, as we always do, we put, and we also did a timeline because we know with stress, it's easy for things to go flying out the window. So this plan was actually a checks and balance for us to make sure that we, we were helping her learn to care for herself. I love this so much, Renata, that I'm glad we didn't forget to talk about it because I think it's important to not just have self-care be something that we say is important, but to really emphasize it. Okay, Lori, 